face, I'm bold. Yeah. Damn, man, I'm looking yeah. like gold. Yeah. Niggas like me put them bitches to work. She jump out the back seat, fixing the skirt. Bitches Grizel to the gang with the wave. This shit made at least quarter million off merch. And I'm on that gas, so I don't do coke. This white bitch with me, she might do both. Chain on my neck, feel like I'm about to choke. And we don't call it beef, nobody gets smoked. I do the shit y'all imagining. You never been like that, you dragging it. We fucking on expensive mattresses, yeah. She throw that shit back, she so talented, uh. These 50 bands I just made in a week. A voice in my head gon' tell me to spin it. I rent it up, you can tell he a sprinter. I'm calling plays like Elway and Denver. Dope boy jumping out of bins when I spin through. About to get a new watch, city said him too. Been a little busy, all these hoes I got a 10 to. Street nigga so dope, could've been a pimp yeah. too. I know this money exciting you bitches. Gamble my life, shake the dice on you bitches. I'm in the club with my life. What's up guys? We are back from vacation. This feels like a, you know in animes when you hear that two year time skip? Or like a little time skip and the characters grow older and they become stronger and it's like a whole new journey? Mina! Uzumaki Naruto ga! A good amount of time off from like the YouTube channel, the content. Um, so from the point of view of my mock meet, I literally stopped powerlifting for about a month and some change. So I literally did not do any powerlifting movements. I didn't really do um, heavy pause benches. I didn't do deadlifts on a damn sure and do squats because you guys can tell I'm a little bit rusty. This is my first day squatting since I competed November 14th at the Corrupted Strength mock meet here at this gym. So um, we knocked out 529 pounds for today's single at RP of six. Um, I'm not too worried about that because once again, we've taken a whole month off from powerlifting and we're jumping right back into it. So the purpose of the next two weeks is to kind of get those movements, uh, the motor, motor patterns back down and just like get the, get the feel back a little bit. So I made a joke like on IG that it's gonna take me a little while. Um, even Joey in his, in his commentary with the program was like, yo, it's gonna take a little bit minute. It's gonna take a little bit of time in order to feel like yourself again. Give yourself maybe like a month or so in order to get that strength back and then we're gonna get back to it. But this year, I know it's not 2021 yet. It might be 2021 when this video comes out, but this year I have big goals. Corrupt to strength, the Get Better Today brand, and then my personal powerlifting goals that I have for myself is like all the way up here. So in order to reach that point, I gotta make sure I put in the work that's deserving of being all the way up there. But this is a good starting point. I mean, I'm excited about this starting point. I can't say it's great, but I'm excited because I'm refreshed. Um, I just feel good. So my body's rested and it's just time to get to work. So um, we're combining two days worth of working out into today's session. So I'm making up for yesterday's session that I missed and then today's session. So yesterday I was literally on a flight um, back home. So I got back this morning at 8 a.m. So I'm doing today's squat session mixed with yesterday's bench session. So once again, the weight's not gonna be crazy heavy. It's more so about getting um, the motor pattern back down, getting used to lifting again. Like having weight on my back feels like I'm getting crushed. So I'm getting used to it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this workout in. Um, we already did the top single. Now we have two sets of nine. Um, the weight is 418 pounds. And most of you guys have been watching my YouTube channel for a while know that that shit is easy, easy ass weight for me. That's like not even warm up weight. But like I said, you gotta humble yourself and get back into the side of the gym whenever you haven't been in here for a very long time. Yes, I've been in the gym for the duration of that month time skip. Let's call this a time skip. But I have not been doing powerlifting movements. It's mostly been bodybuilding movements. So like squatting feels kind of foreign. I was making a joke with you on. I'm like, yo, when do I put on my belt? Like when do, like what am I supposed to put on my belt? And uh, yeah, we're, we're just, we're, it's like a feeling out process right now. But two sets of eight, and then we're moving on to bench. That's gonna be a single and then another two sets, or two sets of nine, excuse me. So let's get to it.
I know like in time skips in animes, like the characters usually come back strong and they show off like a new technique. I ain't got none of that for you right now. <laughs> I guess this is like the period of time when you guys get to see the training that I'm putting in for my time skip. Maybe I should rephrase that. Like this isn't the time after the time skip, this is the time during the time skip. So this is the training that I'm doing in order to be stronger for the two year time skip gap because I did 418 pounds and I'm literally cramping. <laughs> The insides of my legs, right here, my thighs, my inner thighs, the most cramped. I had to take, I had to take a little rest because I can literally feel it as I'm squatting. But we made it through squats, and now we have a single on bench RP of six to seven, and then we have a two by nine. So let's see what we got. I'm thinking maybe 350 for the single, and then 308. No, maybe like I think an old fair. 275. Yeah, that first session back was rough. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but literally like my my legs would like shake as I was benching. Um, we got to the top, we got to 331 and my legs were shaking bad. 353, we were able to kind of gather ourselves and get back together. Um, we did a pre decent single. And then for the back down sets, like on the last couple of reps, my legs were just shaking. Um, so I got back from vacation this morning. Uh, I was in Hawaii for the past five days. And we did quite a bit of hiking there. And you, uh, Martha brought up a great point saying that it's probably due to the fact that we did a lot of hiking. Uh, we hiked two days ago. Yeah, Almost and it was like ago. a four, four, hour, four hour hike. Yeah, it was pretty long. Yeah. <clears throat> so. My legs are pretty worked up. I think that's what's causing the cramping. I won't say that's like. We've been what, doing a lot of like walking. Yeah, walking. Like a lot of walking. So. Like the inner, the inner part of my thighs were sore before I even started the workout. So um, I think the strength was just going to be the same. But in terms of like me cramping up mid-workout, I think it was due to the fact that we were hiking. Also, we were super dehydrated. Like we didn't drink a lot of water. Yeah. I was like, it was either alcohol or just like. <laughs> or alcohol. <laughs> yeah, or alcohol or just something else. Like it was not really water. And I'm a huge water drinker. Like I usually drink like a gallon to a gallon and a half a day. 
and I kind of deprived myself of that during vacation. And we were sweating a fuck ton. Anytime, yeah. like Hawaii was hot, so we were sweating a decent amount. But I would say, all in all, decent, decent session back. I'm just glad to be back into the groove of things somewhat and just lifting in general. So tomorrow, um, we are coming in and benching again. Once again, today was just a mixture of two days, but uh, I'm excited. Um, tomorrow should be pretty easy. Probably mixing some bodybuilding too, but okay. Catch you guys tomorrow. Pardon me, I've been acting the post. Pardon me, I've been still acting post. Pardon me, I've been acting the post. Pardon me, I've been still acting post. Pardon me, I've been still acting post. Pardon me, I've still acting post. Right brick on my brick. Ooh. Okay, guys. We are here on Thursday. Third day. Back on programming. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel destroyed. So Tuesday was my first day back, right? Tuesday was, I mean, y'all saw what Tuesday was. Tuesday was a little bit difficult. Weight was a lot lighter. Um, but the drawback <laughs> from that workout was very, very intense. My legs have still not recovered. Like when I get out of bed, I'm sore. When I walk around, I'm sore. If I want to bend over, I'm making them old dad noises. Like let's say I want to pick up that, that, um, that hat right there, I go like this. <clears throat> or if I want to sit down, I'm like this. <clears throat> right? So I anticipate this soreness is gonna last maybe like a week or so. Uh, with just me getting back in the groove of things. I know that I gotta lift again on Saturday, um, which is like gonna be squatting. Man, I'm pretty sure it's high bar. I haven't like looked too far into the program, but we'll see. But we got some big hitters coming too. You know, Ash is gonna be here. Charles is in town. Um, I think someone else is gonna be here too. But there's gonna be some powerlifters. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're gonna be here. So let's go ahead and get to work today. It's Thursday. You guys know the fucking vibes. We got deadlift, and then after that, we're gonna hit some back. I was figuring that I just need to get some sweat inside of me. I think what the issue is is that I've been very dormant. Like I've just been very, I've just been very like still. Like I've been shying away from the soreness instead of like leaning into it and not being afraid of it. But um, so today we're gonna try to redeem ourselves with a little bit heavier single on deadlift. I'm thinking maybe 606, maybe 550, 551 or something like that um, for the single and then the back down sets is gonna be a two sets of eight. So extreme volume, but instead of focusing on just how light the weight is or just being demotivated by how light the weight is, let's just go in there and have good intensity in terms of just like wanting to be there. Like I wanna be here. I wanna feel these moments where I feel weak as fuck because it's gonna be it's gonna feel even sweeter when I'm back on top. And I'm like, oh, we good. Like when I start doubling 700, you know, 22 pounds and tripling that shit, I'm gonna harken back to these days where I felt like absolute ass. Um, I posted this picture on my IG story. Duhon actually edited this for me. Um, let me show them. It's this picture, you know, that, that iconic I'm back, that simple press uh, release from Michael Jordan. When he came back wearing number 44 and all that kind of stuff, and people were like, oh, is he still gonna be like Mike? Whatever. I'm not saying I'm Michael Jordan, I'm just saying like I I like I relate to that sentiment of like I'm coming back, I'm a little bit rusty, you know, I'm wearing I'm wearing a different color jersey or a different jersey number, but you know, we're working ourselves back into shape. Then when we get back in shape, we're gonna we're gonna ring off another three in a row. You're all right, dead of the session. Let's fucking get to work. Hey, do haunt. Pardon me, I've been still acting pro. Pardon me, I've been acting pro. Pardon me, I've been still 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 acting pro. Pardon
the amount of reps that you do for the sets is going to be a little bit more taxing. So I'm going to find myself coming up for air a lot, but um, I'm going to try 496 for the first set. I think it's a little bit too much because I normally do that when I'm like in actual form. So we'll see. She don't dribble balls, but she good with the D. Stand fashion over cause she get it for free. She at home, but her Instagram location is deep. She at home, bro. Man, man, baby, can I grab that? Get it viral, that she need a hat. She walking in the work like that a bad gang. Hit a couple marks, but I love the rag. That wasn't actually, that wasn't a, that bad. We did uh, 496 pounds for two sets of eight, an RP is six to seven. I think technique was decent, given the fact that we haven't dealt in a while. Um, I was just trying to make sure that my hips weren't rising before I initiated the pull. I wanted to stay tight throughout the whole movement. Um, I think on the second set, we did a little bit better job of that. The first set was like a little bit iffy here and there on certain reps, just so I was getting impatient. And I wanted to get the work done as fast as possible. But now, we're back to our old split. So if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, let me turn the, turn the volume a little bit. But if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, uh, mostly, or for the most part, what I do is I come in here, hit a co heavy compound movement, which is my powerlifting work, and then I go and do a compliment complimentary workout that's gonna help with like accessories. Like, let's just say, for example, I'm doing bench, I might follow that up with like maybe shoulders, chest, triceps, um, or some type of upper body movement. If I'm doing delts or squats, delts in particular, I work out back. Squats, every now and then, you know what I mean? I might throw in legs. <laughs> once in a blue moon, but uh, we, just, we like to do movements that complement the powerlifting movement that we have for the day. So, um, deadlift, back, big back gains, bigger deadlifts. Let's get to it. Okay, okay. RP Prodigy. Yeah. We gonna carry this shit half. Lord Mob. Let's go. Yo. I so hard. Now I'm tapping with the older guards. No regards, beat like this, give you a soul massage Today's mathematics was raised by some addicts Before he gave the signal Okay, so we finished up with the workout It has been a very humbling experience to come back into powerlifting And then couple that with doing bodybuilding workouts So, uh, my body's feeling it I'm feeling heavy and I just wanted to document my first day back on uh, a program So, it's a new year, man. Uh, 2020 has come to an end. Uh, by the time this YouTube video is actually uploaded, um, it will be a new year. And this is New Year's Eve that we're recording this. So um, this year has been very, very uh, shitty in some ways, but also very eye-opening, very humbling. Um, and I'm just like happy to be able to make it to the end of the year. So if you're watching this YouTube video, um, take what you can from this year. Try your best to grow into 2021. Um, Every day isn't guaranteed. I, we don't even know what 2021 is gonna offer. It might be worse than, than, this, than this year. But what I was thinking about on my drive um, back from Corpus after dropping my girlfriend off, what we have to do is take pride in giving it our best. We can't control some of the things that are gonna happen. Um, kind of like what happened with us trying to open up Corrupted Strength in 2020. Um, we had a plan for summertime. Um, the pandemic hit us, you know what I mean? Uh, we weren't able to open. So it's just like, okay, what can we do with that? We took that time to perfect our vision, to gather things, to build a team, and uh, have clear eyes going to 2021. I mean, shit could even get worse, but at the same time, we're gonna be able to look at what we're gonna be able to take from the situation. So I'm trying to encourage you guys as well. Whenever you have things kind of, whenever you have roadblocks, change your plan. Be, be like water. What's that Bruce Lee quote? It's like, be like water. You know, take the form of the glass. You know, it's like that type of 
that thing. It's like you want to be like water. You want to be able to take whatever form that um, container that you put in. So uh, going forward, like I said, we have really, really big plans for number one, to get better today brand. Number two, crew to strength. And number three, personal goals of myself, which includes lifting, um, you know, ment uh, mentality, mental, physical, all that kind of stuff. And I'm looking forward, you know, to this new year and just bringing on new people onto the team, opening up Corrupt and Strength, expanding the Get Better Today brand with ambassadors, um, vision, fashion, all that kind of stuff. So um, thank you guys so much for keeping up with me for this year. Once again, we are starting anew. We are starting fresh. 2021 is going to be amazing. And I'm hopeful that you guys stay with the journey or stay on the journey with me. So with that being said, we're going to end the first video of 2021 and the last video of 2020 because i mean when i'm recording this is gonna be the last time but thank you guys so much like always if you guys like today's video please like comment share and subscribe get better today happy new years I don't know. okay okay rp prodigy yeah we gonna carry this shit half